This is the solution to written homework 75. Okay, so part A. <clears throat> the differential equation is dp dt is uh, so 0 0.01 p and then plus uh, 0 0.7 exponential 0 0.01 t so that's the differential equation <clears throat> Uh, putting it in the standard way for an integrating factor, that would be dp dt minus 0 0.01 p is equal to um, 0 0.7 exponential 0 0.01 t. So the integrating factor is the exponential of the antiderivative of negative 0 0.01 t which is exponential of negative 0 0.01 t uh, this of course should be dt As a result, the derivative of the integrating factor, exponential of negative 0.01t times p, should be <coughs> the force, 0 0.7 exponential 0 0.01 t times the integrating factor, exponential negative 0 0.01 t. Uh, those cancel away. <coughs> so the exponential of negative 0 0.01 uh, t times p should be the antiderivative of 0 0.7 dt. <clears throat> so the exponential of negative 0 0.01 t times p is 0 0.7 t plus an unknown constant. And so p is 0 0.7 uh, t times the exponential of 0 0.01 t plus c times the exponential of 0.01t. So to determine c, we can use the initial data. The initial population is 325 million. So uh, 325 million in millions uh, at t is zero, that would be equal to zero, because all that's zero, and then plus uh, c times one. As a result, c is 325. So the population is uh, 0 0.7 t exponential 0.01 t plus 3 to 5 exponential 0.01 t <coughs> so this could be simplified a little bit uh, to obtain that p is equal to zero point seven T plus three two five times the exponential of zero point zero one T.
for part B, we want to solve. Um, we want to solve the equation p equal to 1,000 because that is to say um, we want to solve when the population is 1,000 million and unfortunately this particular equation uh, is A difficult equation to solve. It's nonlinear in t, uh, and it has uh, a, it's a polynomial times an exponential. So, in such a case, one of the best techniques uh, that is possible to use is just to plot p. So P is going to end up looking something like this. So this is P of T. And then we want to know when the population reaches 1,000. we had an accurate plot, we could come down here and check, and my computer algebra system says that this occurs at 93.96 years. So then adding 2017 to that, get uh, so the conclusion is that we'll have a population of 1 billion billion in 93.96 years that is to say in 2110 point nine six